World AIDS Day encourages people to share how they fight the disease through the arts and flag dancing, a dance arts form with roots in New York City itself, was almost lost in that disease. If you've never heard of flag dancing, take a quick look. I've been flagged out on the streets and province towns to the sound of the surf and the wind. That is a lovely feeling. Flagging allows some racist expressions. Flaggers spent four or five hours on the dance floor. That is the best flagging I have ever seen. You're performing in front and you galvanize the energy on the dance floor. Let yourself loose and go with music. All right, here to talk more about World AIDS Day and the documentary Flow Affair is the film's director, Wolfgang Bush, and Brad Carpenter, and George Yakutek, the dancers of the film, and co-founders of Access Dance. Welcome all of you. Thank you. Okay. I've got you a quick question right now, Wolfgang. That opening scene in the trailer we just saw was spectacularly beautiful. Where was that? Uh, it's a combination uh, on, the, on the West Side Highway and throughout clubs in New York. Yeah, just that opening shot that I'm talking about. Uh, that water, yeah, that was uh, that was the finance, World Financial Center. Okay, well, I, I applaud the photographer. That's great. So, okay. so tell me a bit. Let's talk a bit about about, about how flag dancing evolved in New York City. Tell me. Uh, let the Brad. Well, let the Brad. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay, well, it started like a, a, as a moment of uh, self-expression in the clubs. It could have started with um, uh, like T-shirts, quarters, in handkerchiefs, uh, fans that were made out of paper that had uh, fabric sewn into them, and eventually evolved into weight sewn into the uh, seams of um, fabric. And uh, it, it started in the club scene, and then it's turned into a whole art form. So how did it nearly die out Was it in the AIDS epidemic? Well, there were a lot of, when, when people began to go in the mid-80s, I know I lost a whole group of friends at that time, um, you know, all the men who were doing this were, were dying out, and it was actually the women who were sort of keeping it alive, the lesbian community sort of saved it from extinction. So, George, I mean, you want to be, I guess, you brought back, right? Well, we, um, for many years, uh, we were flagging and, and enjoying this as an art form, and because my dance background galvanized and came together as a professional performance company, and, and we've had much success because of the unique type of art form that it is over the years, and have, have had many experiences and many types of uh, performances. Um, what, we're, what we're doing now, or, or what I'm doing now specifically with it, uh, or, or with the movement that it came from is I'm a creative arts therapist working at Kings County Hospital and, and using the therapeutic aspect of the movement uh, that came from. Let's well, like that. I mean, you've got a flag with you here, and as long as you're talking movement, let's have to show something. This right. is it. We saw it in the film, but this is, this is very, very tight quiet. I'm not telling you, we have lights overhead and very tight quarters, but this is how you do it. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how long did it take to master that? Well, actually, uh, George uh, helped break it down to a language of movement. Yeah. So it actually, you know, it, 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 you can get the first movement of the flag right away. And we've actually taught people in classes and been able to get them to feel that first movement. It's not quite like playing the violin, you know, it doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What drew you, Wolfgang, to this, this subject and, and, and what was it about flag dancing or about the, the, the near disaster in the 80s with the AIDS epidemic that drew you to it? Um, what drew me to it is because we don't know who the originators of flagging are, uh -huh. and we've lost so much information, not only in the flagging community, it goes across the board in the, in the artistic LGBT community. So um, it was a need that we record our oral history, so we uh, came up with the idea we need to empower us as a community, we need to keep our legacy alive, and we uh, recorded our history and used the DVD as a tool to keep the legacy yeah, alive. Um, the, our next showing is in uh, December 9th in uh, Philadelphia uh, at the Gay Lesbian Community Center at 7 o'clock and there's more information on flowaffair.org website. So. Well, Wolfgang and Brad and George, thanks for coming. Thank you so much.